Looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over the Combine promo that will be coming shortly to Madden, guys. Now, we don't have an exact date. Obviously, the Combine's going to be a little bit different this year. Well, we have an exact date in real life, but we have it's going to be different this year. They're going to be doing some more... You know, some more um, solo stuff, less big group events, of course, because of COVID. So, a lot of people have been asking, will that affect the NFL Combine promo? Probably not, guys. They're going to more or less go along with the similar, same, same round of content, similar stuff, whether or not it ends up actually being the same way they usually do. Because at the end of the day, the concept's still the same. The format's going to be, um, you know, still have the same ideals that it usually has. So... More or less, we should be good on that on that front. So guys, before we get into the video and go over what we're going to expect from the combine, uh, the combine promo, head on down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and of course, as always, like the video and comment. That helps out a lot. Comment down below who's your favorite combine player of all time in real life, who is your like favorite performer ever, as well as, guys, like the video, give this video a big thumbs up, and of course, if you guys need coins or anything, head on over to my reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout. So guys, this is the Mudhead... Uh, combine overview from last year so you guys can get an idea so this was our master last year we had 97 overall Deion sanders on the falcons Deion usually gets a combine card and if not an ultimate legend card so we'll be seeing him in the near future regardless now the thing with the combine is guys you're gonna get some of the craziest athletes you've ever seen in madden and that's because that's what the combine is it's it's, it's pretty much just raw athleticism a lot like the the main you know main drills the cone drill 40 yard dash the broad jump and so on and so forth the vertical jump so you're going to get guys with crazy speed, crazy jumping, crazy agility, right? More or less, crazy strength as well. So these are going to be some of the best cards in the game. So Dion, of course, one of the fastest guys in the NFL. Obviously, he gets them for the 40-yard dash. Now, this was part one of the NFL Combine. We had primetime Deion Sanders and a Combine con Conqueror DK Metcalf. So much what that was, guys. There was like a, like a card that you had to like, as per usual, kind of like the Thanksgiving stuff. You get like a low overall card. You have to play solos and throw these uh, like collectibles or things you get into them. And you build them all the way up to his overall, which is like a 95. So hopefully we get another Combine Conqueror again. You know, DK was cool, but of course, there's so many other options as well. And this was a two-part promo. We got one part on, uh, the you know, February 28th. The next one on March 2nd. And then the, oh, there's a three-part promo. And then we got the third one on the, th on the fourth. So we could be expecting this promo sometime within the next like week and a half give or take from the time you guys are seeing this video. Uh, of course, you'll be seeing this around maybe, you know, the 18th, I think. Maybe, maybe the, yeah, around the 18th, 17th. So you may be seeing this like in a week and a half, maybe two weeks. It really just depends, but I do want to go over it. Now, a new team tapped in available, uh, tokens available too. So a little bit different last year with the way they formatted that. Combine players, we had Deion Sanders, Combine Conqueror. So you had to earn strength, speed, and dedication Combine Conqueror tokens from solo challenges or sets upgrade mech cap from 86 to 95. I believe we already have a 95 Metcalf, so at this point, like, that's how high overalls we have, guys. Well, that was pretty good last year, but we're beyond 95s already. These are the combine standouts. Amari Cooper, Mike Jasicki, Carrion Johnson, Marquez Valdez-Scantlin, Garrett Bradbury, Drew Locke, Forrest Lamp, Jonu Smith, Paris Campbell, and Amir uh, Abdullah. Now, here's the thing. Amari Cooper, what did he have? He had great 20-yard shuttle uh, time, which was probably, and three cone drill, which probably great agility, which you can't see on there. Mike Jasicki, he had a high 40-yard dash for tight end, 87 speed. Marquez Valdez-Scantling had a great 40-yard dash, 93 speed. Carrion Johnson was, had a great three-cone drill, which is probably agility, which is 87. Not, 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 not great. Good vertical jump as well. And then we had Garrett Bradbury, who benched 225 times, which led to him getting a 88 strength. Remember, these are lower overall, so it's hard for them to really give him great stats. Um, Jonu Smith had a crazy good vertical jump. And had some good uh, shuttles as well, good speed. And then, of course, Paris Campbell, another one who had a good shuttle, 94 speed. Now, moving on down, guys, we had the 97 overall Master Deion Sanders set. You had to trade in the Combine Stars, and you got them back as Nat. It was Amari Cooper, Denzel Ward, and uh, Alvin Kamara. Then we had the 96 overall Combine Star, Amari Cooper. You had to trade in players for them, and then Combine Standout. Combine Conqueror tokens, you could either get them from, like, solos or trade in two 85 to 93 overall standouts or in a fantasy pack with all three, but you could only choose one. And then you trade in your 95 Conqueror to earn a random 93 overall standout. So let's say you got the DK Metcalf, but like you didn't even want him. You just did it because you got the free tokens. You could then trade him in for a, a free uh, NFL player, like a free co NFL combine player, which you could then use in the set for Amari Cooper. So it's pretty cool. But um, moving on down. Solos, guys. We had the prime time, the early years. You just got coins, combine, to uh, combine Conqueror tokens, and stars. 
And then the NFL Combine Dailies, it was three challenges, one Combine standout, nine stars possible. That was cool. I think you were able to play this like every single day, if I don't stand corrected there. Store, we had some, you know, we had some re-rolls, some Combine packs, some bundles. And then if we come on down, that was it for that, guys. Now, coming over to Mudhead, which is going through the remaining part of the video, is going through the players that we got. So, in Madden 20, guys, we had Jalen Ramsey was an LTD that we did receive during the promo. Now, that's Jalen Ramsey, guys. To give you context, at the time we got this Ramsey, he was insane, right? 94 speed. Matt, he would get 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. It was just insane, right? At the point of the year we are in Madden right now, guys, we are beyond that. Like, we are beyond 94 speed cornerbacks. Like, we've been, we've had Charles Woodson on 95 since Christmas. So, we are beyond all of that. So, it is a different time period right now in terms of how good they, if we got a Ramsey right now, what would we expect? He would have to have at least a 96 speed or 95 speed, you know, so you're powered up. He would have to have all the 99s. It's just a different time period. So, don't take these stats as exact. Pretty much whatever stats you see here, just add them to what it would be like now. Deion Sanders, 98 speed. 94 zone, 97 man coverage, 90, uh, 82 press. John Ross, 99 speed. We got him as an LTD as well. Vita Vey was another LTD. Super slow, but had great, uh, you know, decent block shed. Great strength, though. Alvin Kamara. Again, Alvin Kamara has a 92 speed here, right? This is 96 overall combine card. He got in March or February. I believe March. He was, I think he was a second drop part, so I think it was like March 2nd. So imagine, he got, he got 92 speed March 2nd. But this year, Alvin Kamara had a 95 overall powered up 95 speed running back beast in Christmas. So in December, so that's a three to four month difference. And Alvin Kamara was significantly better this year. Uh, Amari Cooper, 93 speed, 96 overall in March. Again, at this point in the year, he would have to have a 96 speed over not touching him. Denzel Ward, 96 speed as well. That was actually pretty good. But nowadays, he would probably have to have a 97. Thomas Morstead, punter. Jasicki, Sweat, Sweat. And that's, always, and that's the other thing, guys. When it comes in terms of budget beasts and budget teams, the Combine promo brings like light to some of the best budget beasts in the game, primarily because of the fact that since they're all super athletes, guys, almost any player, batter, you know, low overall, high overall, will have some sort of use. Like Montez Sweat, 93 overall. He was, you know, on the cheaper side, 92 speed. Dustin Hopkins at kicker, 76 speed. You go all the way down to like guys like Marquez Valdez Scantling, you know, 9K as right here, 93 speed. Shadobi Awuzie, 90 speed. Curtis Samuel, 94 speed. Hassan Reddick, 88 speed. And, you know, like, you can just really go down the list and just find Jonah Smith, 88 speed. Carl Lawson, ah, no, he's not that great, actually. Darren Lee, 87 speed. Now, at the time, guys, it was a lot better. Isaiah McKenzie, 93 speed. Uh, Jamel Dean, 94 speed. Shaquem Griffin, 90 speed. Paris Campbell, 94 speed. Uh, let's see where else. But, yeah, you guys get the point. You're going to find a lot of speed in a lot of low and cheap places that you can take advantage of. And I've heading over to Madden 19, guys, which was two years ago, just to show you the comment promo typically follows the trend. 99 Chris Johnson was that year. Now, our year may be closer to this one because we're, we're ahead of the game like this one was. Chris Johnson was our master 99-speed base Chris Johnson. I would be insane to see a 99-speed base Chris Johnson in the game. I have not, We have not had a good Chris Johnson this year. I would love love to have a good Chris Johnson. Always used to be fun to get him in, some, in, you know, in Madden in general. Him and Jamal Charles used to always be so similar in Madden. Like, Jamal would be more... Chris Johnson was always so elusive and jukey and fast, and Jamal was slightly behind him in terms of speed, usually like one less. I used to love playing with Jamal Adams. He was always so much fun to play with. But we got one of him, but not, I, I wouldn't call the car we got of him like, you know, meta, which would be, it would be nice to get a meta version of him. Moving down, we had Adrian Amos, Marshawn Lattimore. We had Jadavion Clowney, Frank Clark. This was a good year. John Ross again. Josh Allen, Jason Kelsey, Jarek McKinnon, 96 speed. Yeah, that's a good card. Keanu Neal. We had Justin Simmons, Patrick Peterson. And, uh, you know, so on and so forth with Byron Jones, Luke Keekley, Kelvin Smith, Brandon Williams, Daniel Hunter, Vernon Davis. Great year. Sean Jackson, Odell Beckham. Like, not every year is going to be as good as this one was, but there are good years. Like, this Marcus Mariota. And let's just on and on and on and on, guys. Christian McCaffrey, Demarius Randall, Vic Beasley, Marquise Goodwin, Kenyon Drake, David Njoku, Bud Dupree, uh, Kella Witherspoon, Robert Griffin the third, guys. It keeps going on and on. The point is... Combine promo is going to be fun. You know what to expect. This is how it's going to be. If you guys are excited for the combine promo, let me know down below. Use code Poodle at checkout at Mutt Reserve if you guys need coins. Always smash the like button, guys. Comment down below your favorite combine performance and our player of all time. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Turn the notification bell. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.